Kevin Cunningham here from Traffic Safety and Equipment Company in Mawa, New Jersey. Also, our website is plowpartsdirect.com. We can ship plow parts right to you. Just wanted to show you today, this is the Western Ultra Mount. Uh, this is an older unit. Uh, it's not a current model. Easy way to decide that is there's no plastic cover over it, which would indicate that, that it would be a fleet flex design. This is the uh, probably, let's say around 2005 model. Uh, the unit itself has the isolation module wiring. And the easiest way to look at that is there's three plugs where the plow meets the truck. You have this plug here, which is the power ground wire. You have this one here, which is the headlight harness. And this is actually the plow action. So this one is just a three prong plug. So this one here has 11 pins that are uh, not all being used. The center three are being used. So this would be for making the plow go uh, move the valves. This is gonna operate the valves. Okay, so this is the truck side. And then over here, the other plugs that we have, this plug here is the 11 pin. This is gonna go to the headlights of the plow. And then what happens is on the vehicle side, you have this plug here, which has uh, the control harness, is gonna now plug into the lighting harness. So that's why that there's those uh, combinations of pins. So these two are gonna be plugged in together on the vehicle side. These two are gonna be plugged together on the, the plow side. And then this plug is just a power ground. It has a dust cover on the vehicle side. And then you can put it into one of these ports over here just to keep the dust out. And again, you wanna use the dielectric grease to keep the uh, moisture out of those connectors. And it'll make the, uh, the life of those connectors a little bit longer. This is the Western Ultramount 8 foot Pro, but this has the Fleet Flex wiring. So this is the newest plow that Western offers. The easiest way you can tell about it is that it has this plastic cover over the motor. So if, if you see this, then you know you're pretty sure that this is the Fleet Flex uh, plow wiring. The other way to indicate it, there's only two electrical plugs where the plow meets the truck. You have the 11 pin harness over here. This is gonna uh, operate the Nighthawk lights. Then this plug here, instead of the traditional two-prong plug for power ground, this has got two large pins plus two smaller pins. So this is the Fleet Flex wire. All right, so I just wanted to show you that. This is their um, Ultramount 2 design, so they've come out with a, a different upper lift frame, uh, which is connected to their lower lift frame, a little bit different than their uh, original Ultramount design.